Without contact tracing, testing for COVID-19 becomes essentially meaningless. When someone tests positive for the virus, contact tracers find all the people the infected person came in contact with from the last 14 days. By notifying those people, they can self-quarantine and help prevent the spread of the disease. There are many private investigators. The Southern Nevada Health District has 60 designated contact tracers, plus 10 medical volunteers and eight librarians. It's easier now when Bellagio opens and people going through a thermal camera. But what is it going to be like when you want to bring fans into T-Mobile or Allegiant Stadium? Nevada's COVID-19 task force leader Jim Murren told me as the state reopens, creating a spider web of information like this will be almost impossible to do manually. We are now vetting different digital apps that would be COVID contact tracing apps. It's anonymized information, so it's not Big Brother checking on you. Um, it's, it's, it's all HIPAA compliant. Um, but it would be a real great tool. North Dakota was the first state to release an app. The North Dakota Coronavirus Response website said the app will anonymously track each user's location throughout the day. If they test positive and with their consent, they can provide that information to health officials. Apple and Google teamed up to create an app too. I hope that Nevada is going to be a real early adopter to this. Murren said it wouldn't just help big cities like Las Vegas but rural areas where access to health care is limited. But it brings up the question, how much information are you willing to share to keep people healthy? You just can't download any, you know, contact tracing app. It's got to be endorsed by a jurisdiction like a state. And that's why there's a lot of legal work being done right now to see, you know, whether that can be done in Nevada. People are going to have to be comfortable that it's not Big Brother watching them. I'm Kyla Gaylor, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.